Okay, what we're going to learn today is how to save a high quality image from Google. So first of all, you need to go to the Google um, search engine and type in an image that you're looking for. I'm going to write cotton field because I'm going to show you how to also merge two images together with the landscape. So this is obviously not what I want to be looking for because this is in all, so I need to go to images. Cotton fields, awesome. Next thing I want you to do is go over to tools. And then all these different types of tools will come up here. Please choose size and go to large. So that means now all the images that come up here should be larger. Um, sometimes you have products coming up, just ignore that. What we're gonna do is choose an image that uh, you particularly like or you think will work. Um, so I'm going to choose which one? I might choose this one. Uh, first of all, I'm going to check if when I hover over it in the corner, whether it's large enough. And because it's over 800 and it's 1700 over here, that means the pixels, that means it's large enough. So it needs to be definitely over 800 for us to then save it. So what I'm going to do is instead of saving it here, I'm going to right click it and I'm going to open image in a new tab. It's very important that you're doing that step. You're then going to go up to your tab and here it is, it should be opened up. Uh, now you can see you can either zoom in on it more, so I'm going to actually zoom in on it. That makes the image even bigger because we want to be working with big images. So then I'm going to right click it and now I'm going to save image as and I'm going to save it onto just my desktop but I might rename it to um, Photography Assessment Cotton Field. So it's really important that we're renaming our images that we're saving so we can find it again. Please make sure that the format is a JPEG file or something like a PNG. If it says anything, like if it says a web page, do not, you've, sa you've saved it wrong. So make sure it's a JPEG and press save. And that is how we save an image. So now when we go onto my desktop, it will be called Photography Assessment. And when I open it up, boom, there it is. Nice and good, good image there. Okay, that's how we do it.